Hey everybody, your phone went to play next bringing everything is awesome in gaming. Every once in a while we like to go back to the old, um, I don't want to call it a classic per se, uh, because to a lot of y'all this is new. Um, but we like to find the ones where gaming is from there. So it's going to have the really good pixel art, um, and then you can kind of see where they developed either the game mechanics, the storytelling, etc. So this was a very common, commonly used trope, um, the monks marching towards something to mean progression of the storyline. And then um, they did a great hybrid with this one, um, where you have a fighting that's almost a mini game, and then it goes back and forth to the story. So we're, we're checking it out again. Up your positions, brothers! Summoning. I mean, you gotta have it. Are we angry? Or are we forward against it? Vote now. You get a moon necklace now. The druids sent the best knight to Stonehenge so they could be dumped into the quest for the moonstone. That's obviously right here. You know, like, where else would it be? Select knight. Select... That's me, right? I do that. <gasps> Which one do I want? You keep telling me that I want the red one. I'm not sure. I want the field of wheat. No, I don't want Sir Edward. How do I... Is escape an option? <gasps> They're not going to let me do it. We are playing a red knight if it is the end of us. They don't care. These are cruel masters. So beautiful. Really cool. Um, and then it does the old in television with the heads. Um, so that was a really different sort of thing where you had this controller and you would like move them around on your screen. Um, clearly made for at home a little bit more. So next day we have knights that are moving around the kingdom. And we too obviously are not moving around the kingdom. Hitting up the various and sundry parts and so on. The bard. I can use my gold once so I can get some place. Let me see if I can. I doubt they mapped it to an. Oh, they did. Okay. Well, let's see here. Got that. It's fire to continue. <gasps> There's a freaking dragon? That is insanity. I got as far as a bench, which I assume is some sort of henge or something. I am obviously going to visit the citadel. Ooh, the dragon looked at me. I don't know if that's bad or good. Oh, hold on. Should I go back to Stonehenge? I feel like I was just there, you know? There we go. Welcome! Oh, that was fast. Sorry about that. We're gonna visit the merchant. We could buy better armor. Probably not. No. But I visit the tavern. This is really janky on the controls, just to warn you. Good day, Sir Knight. You care to heal? We have roots, herbs, and leeches. How small of a donation are we talking about? I don't actually need your services. Really janky controls, just as a warning. If you have something better than an Xbox controller, it might work, but this is all over the place. Need a new A Junior quest. Um, you basically have to go straight up and down. Because it's gonna yank your cursor. I feel like something might not have translated, so you might have a better experience. I want to get to the tavern. Tavern. So they have a magic that I can get to the merchant. I can do a tavern. It's always going down at an angle, it's, or is this changing somehow? Here we are. Look at me go! <laughs> something is hitting something somewhere. I lost two gold. Okay, hold on. So we can play dice in here? That's pretty cool. I lost three gold. What happens if I lose all my money? I lost two gold. I have zero luck at this. I am gonna gamble the whole thing. <gasps> that is it? That was it. Okay. Well, obviously I can't buy anything now, so... 
What do I have to visit? Let's visit somebody. I don't want to visit the merchant. I already did this. Stop fighting me on this! You're subject to my whims. So funny. Funny, funny, funny. Just keeps landing me on a merchant. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Let me just leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm out. I'm out. Here we are. Let's go back to Stonehenge. Let's see what's there. <gasps> Can I fight the other night? What does that do? I wanna I wanna see. Prepare yourself. Okay, so this is what I was talking about about the minigame aspect. I got owned! I tried to die at least once per game. <laughs> just as a warning. I feel that you guys are just all masochists. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Look at it! So knocked him down this time. Um, if you liked Golden Axe and that sort of thing, it's a similar game mechanic. Um, I feel like that dragon is going to come into play at some point, but I don't know where. So, let's head back. Valley of the Gods. We must have all four, four keys. Okay, so we're looking for keys here. I'm guessing that they might be in these little mini quest spots. Um, but they're not really showing anything when I click on them. So, it's a little bit of adventure. The gods pause for a minute. <gasps> I have to fight the peasant. Ouch. Ugh. Oh, God, there's another one. Trying to get inside his guard here. Well, let me try and simultaneously we'll try and bring him up there. Ugh, with a blood fountain. Do this. How many of these am I like <laughs> they just go until you're done? No keys for you! Well, that's unfortunate. Look at me. What is this little obelisk up here? So anyways, um, like I said, they tend to be really straightforward when they are retrospective, um, but it had the different zones that you could visit, which I haven't really seen done well in any of the retro games that we've, you know, done recently. So I did want to cover that. It had combat as a mini game, which was cool. And then it did um, screens and included gambling. So since Hillsfar, and that Hillsfar was a little bit off the mark with, in the same way that Bird's Tale was, with repetitive um, scenery. So as you ring the bell at the bottom of the foreboding wizard's tower, a sense of unease rises in the air. Tall dark figure slowly rises on the duck balcony some 50, 50, 50 feet above your head with a low powerful breath the mighty wizard math speaks hey math you'll need an enchanted object to aid you in this quest use it wisely it may not be with you long as a great wizard disappears into his tower a sack appears at your feet it reveals a potion of healing okay so i get the potion of healing oh cool so i just grand no stuff Basically, you battle your way through until you get the keys, and then you can enter the center of the board. So since it's so straightforward, I am going to cut it short. Um, you just kind of trek along and do that. Other knights can beat you to it. You can fight them, etc. But it had this great overarching map that was really just cool, you know? Like, document recommend for DMs to look into this sort of thing, even if not this specific. This was like nothing but San Gioji. Links in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. Um, so they're really cool. They'll let you put the, your uh, logo on merch for Nothing Box. Um, so that's fun. Also down there is our social network. Buy this chick a coffee one dollar. Make me smile. Uh, to begin a longer life, you must offer an item of magic. I can do that. I have... What happened to my potion? When I died, I lost that. I went all the way up there and got it. And then I came down here and now I don't have it because I died. How cruel are you people? Um, I'll sit down there all my social links, etc. Definitely subscribe because then you can see the little thumbnail and see if this is the sort of thing you want to check out. You know, like, what do we have for retro games? What do we have for indie games? Blockbusters. If you're just into the bigger names, you want to see, you know, the new Witcher with the graphics and so on. Um, those are a lot of fun. So I imagine at some point we'll eventually get to the dragon. We can't even get into certain parts right now. And so on uh but the use of creative use of the map was always awesome back in the day and i feel like that got lost so it'd be something that an indie dev could bring to the table very easily 
um, and be a really cool way to interact. They do it a little bit in their adventure gaming, etc. So smash subscribe. You get the little alert. See if it's something you want to spend 10, 15 minutes on. We love you guys. We love that you're always on for and we'll see you in the next video.